Hey guys, I'm back. I'm gonna answer a question that came up from someone that wanted to know, what is the dietary requirement for carbs, okay? This is not gonna be a long video, but I will say this. The requirement is that there isn't any, there's none. There is no RDAs for carbohydrates. There is no such thing as an essential carbohydrate. There are essential amino acids, there are essential fatty acids, but no essential carbohydrates. And in this definition, essential means that your body can't make it, it needs to get it from the diet, okay? Well, guess what? The question is, can your body make glucose? Yes, it's called gluconeogenesis, okay? But when you read textbooks sometimes, they'll even say, oh, uh, glucose is necessary for the brain, for the red blood cell, and that's all true, but when you actually reduce glucose and you cut down the carbs, your body just converts and starts burning ketones, starts burning more fatty acids, and any glucose that it needs, it can turn the ketone, the fat, the protein into glucose. So you do not need glucose. Now, that being said, your microbes do like to eat fiber. And fiber is a carbohydrate, but it is the only carbohydrate that has zero effect on insulin. So fiber is okay, unless you have a lot of digestive issues where when you consume fiber, it just tears you up. Other than that, I would recommend vegetables to get your fiber to feed the microbes. And also the vegetables have some nutrients as well. So there are no requirements Going on a low-carb diet will do a lot of great things for you, despite consuming more fat. One of the biggest misconceptions is that, oh, I don't want to do a low-carb diet because that's a high-fat diet. What's interesting is when you lower the carb and you, and you actually raise the fat, your cholesterol ratios and things go into a really good range. Your LDL, so-called bad cholesterol, may go up temporarily, but if you evaluate LDL, uh, for the two different types of LDL, um, large buoyant versus small dense, you're going to find that the good LDL is going to be high and the bad is going to be low. So a low-carb diet puts you in a really good place with cholesterol in general. It's when you consume a high-carb diet that you worsen your cholesterol ratios, you increase triglycerides, you decrease HDL, and you increase the really bad version of LDL. And also you increase your risk of diabetes and heart problems. And I'm going to put some very interesting research down below. You should check it out. But if you haven't uh, watched my video on the good and bad LDL, check that out. I put it right on the screen right here.